Hey, this is KY Crazy Aaron. We're here at Wildcat Warehouse to see Derek Willis, Isaac Humphreys, and Michael Mulder. Sadly, Dom was not able to make the days out west for a NBA tryout. We're here. We're going to talk to some fans, see what's up. Hi, I'm Dennis Thomas, and this is my son, Ryan. Uh, we were early as usual again tonight, uh, or this past night, I should say. We arrived at 11.55. Uh, we're crazy, so, you know, it's as usual. Uh, we got two more this week. Tomorrow, Bam will be here. Then on Thursday, Monk will be here. So, uh, we'll be early then. See ya. Hey, this is Jessica Gish again. I'm here to see all three, um, of the Kentucky players today. I'm super excited. I'm going to kiss Derek Willis. Sorry, Keely. Um, want to know more about Mr. Humphreys and all his talents and get to know Michael a little more. And yes, I'm a Crazy Cat fan because I've been here since about 2 a.m. Tony, I'm doing this for you. I'm at the Kentucky Warehouse um, seeing three of the players today, autographs, Monks next Thursday. Just want to tell you I love you. Thank you, Derek, for playing at Kentucky and Big Blue Nation. Thanks you also. Go Cats. Go Big Blue. What's your favorite colors, baby? Blue and white. All right, go Cats. Thanks, Thanks Derek and Isaac. Good luck in the pros. Go Big Blue. This is KY Crazy Aaron here from KentuckyCrazyCock.com. Here with Michael Mulder. You know, um, people don't people don't see us in that environment. You know, um, they just see what we do on the basketball court. But um, obviously, there's a school aspect to it. We got a we got a lot of work to do. Um, you know, you're kind of busy all day. You're in class, and then uh, by the time you get done with practice and stuff like that, it's almost seven o'clock. Um, then you got to work worry about academics. But you know, um, sometimes you just gotta get some time to decompress and uh, you know just get your work done but you know it's not it's definitely not the average student life that's for sure. And what at UK has Cal taught you besides basketball that you'll take with you? Uh, Cal's taught me a lot of a lot of lessons um, but you know just mostly just the, the work that it takes to be successful um, seeing him as a, as a great example of that um, at a young age what he what he was able to do as a coach and uh, continue to do and you know it just he just taught us like you know what the what the grind is and how much work it takes to really achieve goals and be successful maybe not the immediate future but I'm planning on doing some stuff you know later on maybe after I retire from basketball do some you know, some behind the scenes work and stuff like that but probably yeah what will you miss most about Lexington other than basketball I think the uh, the loyalty of the fans I think I'll miss the most it's um, we can't go anywhere without fans showing us so much love so I think I'll miss that the most you know, I did mention that to Michael about how we don't realize you guys are kids and yeah. it's it's hard for you guys to live a normal college student life. For sure, yeah. It's uh it's definitely not, you know, normal but um, we try and do as much as we can that that it's just like kinda normal and um, inside our in, with our spare time but I mean it's what we signed up for and like I said their support's awesome so we don't mind it at all. Uh, it's actually um, it's really it's really harder than a lot of people really think it is like it's it's extremely difficult to take you know 17 18 year old kids coming in and uh, you know motivate them and get them all, get us all to be on the same page uh, every year but um it's been cool you know everybody's still even sticks together like we still I still talk to Carl I'll still talk to I'll hear from Scal I'll hear about Scal from time to time um, me and Keely we know a, a lot of Willie's friends so we kind of hear about how he's doing so I mean we all keep in contact which is good it's a brotherhood uh, it's just all motivation, I think, and he's like the best at it. You know, he um, is good at getting people to uh, buy into uh, one common goal, and you know, he's figured it out, and that's why we succeed every year in like the short time frame that we have to, you know, turn things around and, and get it going. I just think we have a, we understand like the sense of pride. I feel like that goes behind it. I think it's more like what what should be said because I mean, we, me and Dominique have lived it, and Dylan too. He understands it, so. Um, just kind of, you know, like I was telling, uh, or excuse me, uh, 
Dudo here earlier that um, you know I've been in the fights, I've been in like I've been in Papa John Stadium, seeing people throw beer on each other, and it's all like the the crazy stuff. And uh, we just understand that people like every day they're arguing or fighting UK and UVL, and just how much it means to them. And you know people give up uh, a lot of things to be at the games and sacrifice a lot just to even go camp out to be at a you know a, a practice or a signing. Or a signing. Yeah, like, this is this is insane. So. Um, but no, we always show gratitude and you know, love all our fans and appreciate everything they do for us. But um, I mean, just having Kentucky kids on the team, I feel like it just kind of has a sense of, you know, the fans can, excuse me, uh, identify with someone. I feel like a lot of uh, fans identify with me because, um, you know, I, I live in a county outside of a city and uh, just kind of how somebody they can, you know, relate to, I guess. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up to show we're about to miss this. Everything that you're about to witness. Get up, come out and try to get this. This is all a part of my sickness. But listen up, cause you're about to miss this. 